Good morning, everyone. It is uh, Thursday morning. Todd and I are headed to a new vet for our Boaz. Um, he, I haven't posted a lot about him, and it's because we've been really busy. Of course, we're taking good care of him, but there's been a lot going on with our whole farm and all of our horses, and I'm gonna try to do some catching up very soon. He, um, about six, seven, well, a little longer than that now, probably about nine days ago, really took a turn for the worse. Um, after his farrier treatment um, appointment with, with Reuben, he just started really doing good. You know, he debrided all around the frog and cleaned everything up and we've been treating it and it was looking good. Um, he's been all, all, on all of his supplements, um, but it was Sunday a week ago that we noticed he kind of just started looking a little different, walking a little different, had a little bit more of a limp to his walk. Um, it was about two days after that, we um, had him out and was working with him again. Noticed there was a lot of pus and gunk all shoved up in areas that's been staying clean and wondered what was going on there. Um, I cleaned out one area of his, uh, around his hoof wall and black oozy gunk stuff came out. So anyway, we've been waiting, we were waiting for our, our appointment with, second appointment with Reuben of course, Solomon's been there. He's looked at him too. Um, he did trim him a little bit, not much. He's just keeping an eye on him, making sure the edges around his hoof wall are staying smooth and not getting all, um, you know, jagged and stuff like that. So Solomon's not really doing much, but he's with us on this, this bandwagon and he's learning a lot. And uh, Ruben was over last night he didn't do a lot. He did a little bit of um, removal around the frog of what I really think is a canker. Uh, we've been thinking this for some time now, so that's why we've been seeking out to find a new vet. And I, I found a new vet that we want to try out. We took the day off of work. Uh, we were supposed to be going on a vacation today, and now we're not. So we're canceling all of our plans for multiple reasons, one of which is because of the heat. We were going to be camping and um, it's just been super hot. The second reason Roxy is due to full and I just, we couldn't leave her. We didn't have anybody to watch her close as we would like. And uh, the third reason being Boaz. So we chose to do a staycation and take care of some things that we haven't been able to do because it's too hard with our work schedule. And, um, that's what we're doing. We're going to do some fun stuff with the kiddos though, and they're excited about that. And we'll do another trip another time. But anyway, back to Boaz. That was a little update on the family. Uh, Boaz is in the trailer behind me. You can kind of see that. And he's all cleaned up and ready to go. Um, Ruben did do a little bit of trimming, not a lot yesterday. He is very excited to see what our new vet says. Uh, this is Dr. Roger Shaw and I don't know him and I'm excited to meet him. He came highly recommended by several people that I uh, respect and trust their opinion and that's where we are headed. So this is our third vet and hopefully we'll make some gain, get some better answers. But I'd like to say that Boaz just continued to make awesome progress, but he just didn't. He started getting very, very sore. I believe after Ruben saw him yesterday and after what we've we've seen and everything, everybody's collectively decided that that area that I cleaned out and I, I, I dip, like got all this gunk out and cleaned up behind the sole of his foot, um, there was black stuff gushing out for just a little bit and we think he has an abscess. And so hopefully uh, x-rays are gonna give us that best give us the best answer and and we'll find out where there are pockets up between the sensitive tissue and the hoof wall and things like that so we'll be getting all that information from Dr. Shaw today hopefully it'll be a good successful trip and um, I started giving Boaz Butte so he's back on a pretty heavy dose of Butte um, 
following the recommendations on the on the bucket. That's the best we can do. We're following the label, and um, we're on day three. Todd, we're on day three or four of that treatment. Day four. Day four of that treatment. No, day three. We started him on Tuesday. Um, so day three of that treatment and uh, he is walking a little bit better. So we know that it's helped with inflammation and just pain control. So anyway, I wanted to give this quick video update. Um, I know it's just me and that doesn't make everybody happy. But um, right now, Todd and I are asking any help, any support, any donations that you might be able to offer us. We would greatly appreciate it. We have paid out a lot this month and our finances are tight as many's are many people's are we know that we know that uh, we hate to even ask but boaz is a special case and he's a beautiful rescue that needs the love and the support um, from many from all of you guys you're his horse too um so if you're able five ten twenty dollars whatever it'll help we're expecting this vet bill to be quite a bit um, we're expecting to pay for x-rays, maybe some debridement, maybe surgical removal. We aren't exactly sure. Definitely antibiotics, which he is on, but they're going to probably want to change those if, is my guess. All I have is SMC tabs, um, and he's probably going to need something a little bit stronger to, to treat this condition because it's so persistent and it's just not going away. So. This bill is going to be a little more than, a little bit more than probably we're prepared to do. But anyway, we're doing it. So any help, any support, your prayers, your kindness, your good supportive comments, the positive comments, everything. We really, really appreciate them guys. And we need them because Todd and I are starting to feel pretty tired. He works all the time. I work all the time. We're with our kiddos. Like, we're kind of tired. So, but we're all right. We're thankful. And we are so blessed. And we appreciate everyone who's on our channel who continues to support us. Please watch our videos. Please watch our videos. I know I've been slow getting them out, but I'll get some out really soon the next few days. But thank you guys so much. And God bless. Happy Thursday.